So part number three of this entire series of Bushiri escaping South Africa after he got his bail hearing for his fraudulent money laundering uh, and the issue between him, home affairs, him faking documents, the whole nine years. The man just escaped South Africa and so we are discussing this in four different episodes that are posted today. So check the pinned comments to see all those other episodes. You might care about one point versus the other so that's why i prefer to divide them up into different subjects first one was about him making himself a victim from the start of the year part two was about uh, the escape and the corruption that can be involved part number three we're going to be discussing five points that he will bring him back so we're going to discuss those five points that he labels out on this one and on the next one we'll discuss this aspect of him being a law unto himself and how he sees it how he sees the projection of the law in south africa unto himself so we're gonna start from one the south african state to appoint independent and professional investigators and prosecutors who will make independent decision on the case that we are alleged and accused of the hawks has done their their investigations so he's asking for prosecutors independent prosecutors to make a decision meaning what i don't understand that entire aspect if you are a law person please explain that one because for me it trips me up this is an issue that is being judged in court so are you talking about is, is he talking about the evidence aspect of it and so the jo the judge should be able to make a judgment on whether the case for those people is valid now, apart from the aspect of the case between you and those prosecutors there is a case that is between you and the people that were robbed money so that's what that's what took you to jail it's not this prosecutors you can open your case okay the reason why you got bail is because the justice system saw it fair now you because you want to be a law to yourself you want to state for them what they must do that's a very very strange uh, thing is to deal with this particular one of people being losing money because of you then you can tell us about all these other things you can't say no deal with that case so that i can come and deal with this case no you are arrested for this case humble for the case and so uh, point number two here was he wants the south african government to ensure uh, that their bill will not be revoked no you you <laughs> Uh, you broke the law as it says to what you were supposed to do to your bail conditions the bail the entire idea of a bail condition is that you were not supposed to live between uh, pretoria and rustenbeck which is rustenbeck is a place of your business right and so if you had left from there and you go, went to, to rustenbeck it it is complying with the law but then you can't state what law they can't act on when you yourself are breaking the law okay so by saying they cannot revoke the bail when you broke <sighs> this this charlatan the problem with this charlatan is that when you become a law to yourself you want to tell the, the whole you want to tell the whole country what they must listen to uh, if you're a follower of this guy uh, everyone else can close out their books so he wants it to be labeled that what he wants must be followed but he couldn't follow one simple condition the condition was this one you cannot leave you cannot leave you can't have bail and then you leave and then say i'm not safe icon i'm glad <laughs> you don't play that game and so he's playing Majalisa. you know he's here he's there he's here he's there you know uh, when they give you bail bail is not stock for him. <laughs> this month it comes to me <laughs> next month it goes to this one that's not bail that's not how you work with bail to say for me to stick to the bail rules you must adhere to mine no it doesn't work like that and so that just just that one point that one point in point number two of him saying he doesn't want the bail to be revoked it tells you the problem with Bashir or people like Bashir is that they are individuals who are self-governed okay listen to the rest he says our rights to uh, to have a fair trial is essential and we have access to our lawyer law of the land decides decides the law decides how when they went to court they didn't want people in the hearing they didn't want the media in the hearing the state said mm -mm, doesn't work like that they are a law to themselves 
charlatans are a law to themselves. They still think they are right. And their followers will still justify this. They say they, say they want to have, they say a revocation of bail defies their our rights. You were given bail. You were given bail and you showed that you are not reliable. You are supposed to report in on Monday and Friday. He legitimately believes he's right. He, says, he breaks the rules of the bail, but he wants other rules to be implied. You're not special. You see, but when you believe yourself to be special, <laughs> this is what he thinks. And so this is the conclusion he comes to. So that one point in the bail thingy tells you the type of a thinking your papa has. Your papa is duped. He's a Charlie. Charlie for the money. No different. There's a reason why he ran away. Because he's guilty. He knows he's not gonna get away with it. There's no extradition law between South Africa and Kenya. So he knows he can run there. Nobody will bring him back. Forget seeing Bashiri in South Africa. Forget it. He's done. He's swiped you all of you. Yeah, he's cleaned your pockets. <laughs> this these documents were supposed to be repossessed in this period. How did he get across? He break the law and justify him putting his own laws. It tells you where they stand in position. It's not even an issue of, you know, do they have the fear of God? No, forget the fear of God, my brother. Here you are dealing with a charlatan. A charlatan has no idea what the fear of God implies. They see this as persecution. Why are you running away? Bushiri supposedly said he was going to jail. He supposedly gave a prophecy of jail. Why are you running away? <laughs> you supposedly prophesied it. Why? Charlatans. They do that to seek pity. Once you have pity, they know that they can win the heart of the person. But when the real fire stands, they cannot stand for it. It's a this reality show where we do daily Christian commentary videos. Other episodes are done in the print comments on, on the subject. It's Ricky and I'll see you over there. Here, we just wanted to show that the man is a law to himself.